everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. I'm back with another tutorial video on how to sign up for Qualtrics. Before beginning, if you are watching us for the first time, subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Also, press the notification bell icon so that YouTube will notify you whenever we post a new video. Open up a web browser in order to get started. Now, head over to the address bar at the top of the screen and type in www.qualtrics.com and press enter. You'll end up in the main homepage of Qualtrics, which looks like this. Now, at the top right hand corner, you'll be able to see a free account button in blue. Right above it, you'll be able to see a login button. If you already have an account, click on login and enter your credentials to log into your account. If you'd like to sign up since you don't have an account yet, click on free account button. Now, on the next page, you'll be able to see that there is a box that says create your free account. Go ahead and choose how you'll be using Qualtrics. You can choose between academic purpose, business, government slash non-profit or personal. Click on any one option that matches your choice. Now, head over to the next field and type in your business email address. After you are done, click on create account. Now, a message to verify your email address has been sent to you. Open up the email inbox that you used as your business email address. Open up your email to verify your email address. Click on verify email link that has been sent to you. Now, go ahead and set up your account by filling in your information. Type in your first name in the first text box and then head over to the next one and type in your last name. Create a password for your account. Make sure to create a strong password so that it will be easier for you to remember next time you log into your account and difficult for others to guess. After you are done, confirm the password by typing it again in the next field. Make sure that both of the passwords in the text boxes matches. Now, select your country or your region from the drop down, type in your job title, and finally type in your phone number in the next text box where it says phone. Make sure to enter the phone number that you have an access to, and right under it, you'll be able to see a little box. Click on it if you'd like to receive marketing communication regarding Qualtrics products, services, and events. If you don't want to do that, you can leave it unchecked before continuing. Finally, after you are done, click continue, wait for a few seconds, go ahead and select an answer to the question that has been asked in the display, and click next. Answer another question on the next page as well, answer how you'd like to get started today, and click on continue. Right after you do that, you'll be able to see that this kind of a pop-up has been displayed on your screen, you have been welcomed to the application, you can now quickly take a tour in order to be familiar with Qualtrics. That is how you'll be able to sign up for your Qualtrics account quick and easy. This will be your home page for your account. Start by opening up your web browser and go to the address bar at the top of the screen. Type in www.qualtrics.com and press the enter on your keyboard. As soon as you do that, you'll end up in the main home page of Qualtrics. Right at the top right hand corner, you'll be able to see a login button. Simply click on that to end up in the login area. In order to log into your account, you'll need to enter your Qualtrics account's credentials. So go ahead and type in your username in the first text field. Right where it says username, you can go ahead and type in your email address that you used while signing up your account. Now, head over to the next field and type in the password for your account. Make sure to type in the correct password that you created while signing up. You can double check your password by clicking on this little eye icon at the right corner of the box. In case you don't remember your password, click on forgot your password link beneath the sign in button and follow the instructions so that you can reset to a new password. If you don't have an account yet for Qualtrics, click on the sign up button at the bottom and follow the instructions to register. After entering all of your credentials and you're ready to log into your account, click on the sign in button, wait for a few seconds and you'll be logged into your Qualtrics account right away. Create a project for yourself and get started. That is how it is done. In order to get started, open up a web browser. In the address field at the top of the screen, type in www.qualtrics.com and press enter. Soon after you reach on the home page of Qualtrics, go and click on the login button at the top right hand corner. As soon as you reach to the login area of Qualtrics, you'll be able to see that you'll need to type in your username and password to log into your account. In case you don't remember your password, you'll need to first go ahead and enter your username in the first text field. Soon after you do that, if you happen to remember your password during the process, type it in in the text box. But if you don't, click on the forgot your password link beneath the sign in button. Now, confirm that you are a human being, not a robot, by clicking on this box. 
click on send reset email and you'll receive a reset email link sent to this particular email address that you used while registration. Click on send reset email to receive it. Now, a password reset link has been sent to your email. Open up a new tab, go to your email. As soon as you open up your inbox, you'll receive an email from Qualtrics. Click it open and click on set new password link. On the next page, you'll need to fill in your information. Go ahead and type in your username, that is your email address, in the first text box. Now, in the password text field, you'll need to type in the new password that you'd like to reset to. Type it in correct and make sure that you check your password by clicking on this little eye icon. While creating a password, make sure that your password is at least 8 characters long. It must include at least one special character. It should not be commonly used and it must be different from the current password. Once you are done, confirm the new password by typing it again in the next field. Finally, click on Reset Password link and your password has been changed successfully. Click on the sign in button. Soon after you click on the sign in button, you'll be logged into your Qualtrics account. Start by opening up your web browser and log into your Qualtrics account. Once you're inside, you'll be able to see this kind of an interface. If you'd like to add a back button on your Qualtrics survey, then here's how to do it. Once you're logged into your Qualtrics, open up a survey and right at the left hand side menu, click on this button that says survey options and you'll end up in this page. Under options, click on responses from the list of the choice. You'll be able to see a back button appearing at the right hand side. Simply toggle the back button on in order to enable the respondents to move backwards through your survey. After you're done, click on Publish at the top right hand and click on the Publish button one more time. Now you can simply preview your survey by clicking on the Preview button and you'll be able to see that a back button has appeared once you toggle on the Back button option. Now, respondents can move backward through the survey and they'll be able to change their responses during the survey. That is how it is done. Open up a web browser and log into your Qualtrics account. Once you're logged into your account, go ahead and open up any survey that you have. Let me click on this one over here. By default, your survey questions will be displayed together in one page after you're done with it. As you can see that, if I go to the preview button in the top right hand corner, you'll be able to see that all of the questions that I have in my survey are displayed in one page. If you'd like to use the page break element to break up your survey into multiple pages, then here's how to do it. Go ahead and click on the question that you'd like to add a page break on. Soon after you do that, right under it, you'll be able to see a button that says Add Page Break. Once you click on that, you've broken down the pages into two, or if you have more questions to it, then you can use it right under every question that you have. Let me go ahead and show it to you by adding a new question. As you can see that, right above the question, there is an option that pops up that says Add Page Break. Click it on in order to break up your pages. Now, after you've done that, go and click on the Preview button in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to see that all of my questions are not displayed in a single page but to multiple ones. Simply click on the Next button and you'll be able to view all of the pages that are available. That is how you'll be able to use the Page Break tool on Qualtrics. Open up a web browser to begin. In the web address bar at the top of the screen, type in www.qualtrics.com and press enter on your keyboard. Make sure to log into your Qualtrics account by clicking on the login link at the top right hand corner. Enter your credentials in the login area and click sign in. Soon after you signed into your account, you'll end up in the main home page which looks like this. Open up a survey first that you'd like to make the changes on. Soon after you do that, click on the question text that you want to edit. Once you are done, you'll be able to see this rich content editor and piped text option at the top left. Click on the rich content editor. Now, soon after you do that, click on more at the top. Now, you can simply go ahead and highlight the text that you'd like to hyperlink. Once you are done, click on the link icon at the top. Now, set the link type to URL. Simply paste in your link in the URL box that you'd like to add in in your Qualtrics survey. Once you do that, click on OK and you are done. Now, if the respondents click on this link, they'll be redirected to a specific URL. That is how you'll be able to add links on your Qualtrics survey. Start by opening up your web browser and in the address bar at the top of the screen, type in www.qualtrics.com and press enter on your keyboard. Make sure you're logged into your Qualtrics account first. If you're not, click on the login link 
at the top right hand. Enter your credentials for your account and click on the sign in button to log into your account. Once you're logged in and you are in your home page of Qualtrics, if you'd like to add an introduction to one of your survey, open up the survey first from the list. I've chosen this survey in order to add an introduction to it. As you can see that, I don't have any introductions on my survey and it's not looking pretty good. It's a good idea to begin your survey with an introduction, so go ahead and write an introduction with the assumption that the respondents don't know much about the topic of your survey. Go ahead and point out your first question and click on the plus button. At the top of the screen, you can simply go ahead and type in an introduction for yourself. In order to add an introduction on your survey, go to the top left corner and under question type, click on the drop down and click on the text entry tab. Click on this click to write the question text field and type in your introduction. Once you do that, you've created an introduction for your survey, which looks like this. Make sure you use a simple and clear language to briefly explain the topic and purpose of the survey. After you are done with it, you can check how it would appear as a preview. Once you click on the preview button, you'll be able to see that you've added an introduction on Qualtrics survey. Open up a web browser. In the address bar at the top, type in www.qualtrics.com and press enter on your keyboard. In order to delete your account, make sure you're logged into it first. If you're not, click on the login link at the top right hand and you'll end up in the login area. Type in your credentials, that is your email address and your password to log into your account and click on sign in. Once you're signed into your account and you are in your home page, you can go ahead and click on your name initial at the top right hand corner. In the menu that appears on the screen, click account settings. Under user settings tab, scroll all the way down and you'll be able to see a button that says deactivate account. Once you proceed to deactivate your account, you won't have access to anything created by or associated with this Qualtrics account. If you are sure you'd like to do so, click on deactivate account. Now, you'll need to go ahead and type in deactivate in order to proceed forward. Once you do that, click confirm and your account has now been deactivated. If you ever want to use Qualtrics in the future, you'll need to create a new account and sign up for it. That is how it is done. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial videos like this. Thank you for watching.